Afternoon, Ben from Philippines Extremes here, coming to you live outside of Cebu City in a Baobao, Cordoba. Today I'm going to be talking about three things that expats complain about most and why they need to shut their mouths. Remember guys, happiness comes easier when you stop complaining about your problem and you start being grateful for the problems that you don't have. So I frequent a lot of forums online, um, some websites and some groups on social media. So these guys, they come here and they always complain about the same three things. Number one is the burning smell of trash. Okay. Number two is the karaoke. And number three are the roosters. All right. So here's some of the responses that I received. At least in some locations back home, there exists consideration of others. So there you go. You're bringing up back home. And these dudes are literally miserable and they're mad. One guy even took it so far to say to me, I'm not a pussy like you. I traveled to die. This is a, this is a quote. I am not a pussy like you. I travel to die while you're living in your aircon condo with multiple expats and not dealing with any of these things. <laughs> I live like the locals, folks. See? This is not a condominium. This is your standard Filipino apartment where I have all of these issues and I have learned to deal with them. And you want to know why I've learned to deal with them? And this is the key. This is the key. All right? Now listen up. You complain about roosters and singing and garbage. And you come here and you're going to try and change it? You're going to try and change that. And you act like you came from such a perfect utopia. This guy says, we all suffer from this crap here. The roosters, the karaoke, the garbage. We all suffer from those things. Here's where you're completely missing the ball. Swing and a miss. Whiff. All right? Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. You're out. What are you suffering from? You think that's suffering? You think that those three things are suffering in the Philippines? You know what suffering? What, what is really an issue? Get off your high horse and stop being a hypocrite because here we go. I'm about to hit a grand slam. Go to downtown anywhere in the state where there's hundreds of of zombified criminals dropping needles on the ground and falling all over themselves. And you have to weave your way through them. The tent cities, the feces, and the countless drunken, druggy beggars that you encounter whenever you go to the store or the gas station. The fear and the reality of nighttime car break-ins where they'll smash your windows and take anything you may have left in there. Even if you're diligent, you don't leave anything in there. They're so stupid that they're going to break in and check. The school shootings, the theater shootings, the shootings at concerts like in Las Vegas, and the transgenderism woke politics that are inescapable. Get real. Roosters, garbage, singing, dealing with those things as opposed to the others is a good trade. Remember earlier when I said happiness comes easier when you stop complaining about the problem that you have and start being grateful for the problems that you don't have. Don't be one of these guys that comes here and thinks that they're going to change the world. Can't change the world. That's a process. 
and you aren't going to do it. Teach your children that you have here. And maybe when they grow up, having Filipino blood and speaking the language and having grown up here, they can have a voice to do it. But you're not going to be able to do it. All you're going to do is create problems for yourself and for your family. So shut your mouth. Realize that what you've traded for all the crap that you've been dealing with for years and years and years in your home country pales in comparison. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. This is Ben from Abalbal Cordova, just outside of Cebu City, signing off and have a blessed day.